Welcome to my new series called Anime Memories. This is a series where I will take a nostalgic anime and just talk about all the memories I have of it. Keep in mind this won't be a history lesson, just more personal anecdotes. And I thought for the first episode, I would choose my favorite anime series, Naruto. Well, how did I get into this? I was in third grade, there was a friend of mine on the school bus, who talked about the wedding. There's all kinds of ninjas and stuff, and he said it was really cool. So, I decided I'd check it out. And, honestly, I'd never really heard of it before. The only time I'd ever heard of it was, like, in a quick mention in an ad for Shonen Jump magazine. It was on a random Yu-Gi-Oh! DVD I got for my birthday a while back. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and Shaman King, the Shonen Jump graphic novels, bringing you the best stories and artwork from Japan. Read it first in the Shonen Jump graphic novels and find out if Luffy will ever find one piece. Some titles are rated really T for content. Yeah, that was the first I ever heard of it, and I didn't really think much of it. So anyway, that weekend, I went to my grandma's house and checked it out. I don't remember the arc, but I do remember that Naruto was being trained by someone, either Jiraiya or Kakashi, I can't remember which. But anyway, I remember Naruto was talking about how, something about how normal chakra is blue. But when he sees his chakra, he sees it as red. And there was also something about the nine-tailed f that's also sealed inside of him. I didn't really get to watch a whole lot of it, but what I did watch I really enjoyed. So anyway, I remember they started playing it at 4.30 p.m. Central Time, and I remember every day I had a routine. I would sit down, eat dinner, and watch Naruto. Yeah, I remember they played that and some Pokemon series. I remember it had Don in it. There's also some guy with purple. I don't know, I don't really... I never really paid attention to Pokemon that much. The first time I started watching it at this time, I remember it was uh, during the, uh, you know, right after the exam, when Naruto was just sitting on the swing all sad, watching all the other kids' parents. They're all bragging about how talented their kids were and everything. I just felt so bad for Naruto. But yes, that tradition continued on for a very long time. Come home, sit down on the couch, watch Naruto. Needless to say, I was in love with the series. In fact, now keep in mind, I was eight. Now this is embarrassing to say, but keep in mind, I was eight at the time. I actually wrote stories with me and Naruto world. I mean, I made up my own jutsus and a lot of things. But most of my jutsus were rip-offs of, uh, you know, techniques used in Dragon Ball Z. Remember, I was eight. And eight-year-olds are allowed to write Mary Sue characters. I vaguely remember being put on Team 10 with Eno, Shikamaru, and Choji. I had a bit of a thing for Eno. But I like blondes, so what can I say? Around this time, I also remember my cousin moved in with us. He was in between jobs, and really he'd just sit around and watch TV all day. And one day, it was the worst day of my life, I got home, and he was just sprawled out on the couch, watching some stupid basketball game. I couldn't watch my Naruto because of him. I don't think I ever forgave him for that. So yeah, that continued for a while. But the next significant one is the Naruto Hundo. I, mean, I remember the ads. They were great. I mean, it made me excited for the upcoming weekend. If you don't know what the Naruto Hundo is, it was basically just a marathon of the first 100 episodes of Naruto. And this was when the 100th episode was new, so they were playing 99 to like build up to this episode. Cartoon. August 17th at 6 
course I am. I really wanted to see it. The arc I really wanted to see was the tuning exam arc. I mean, I really wanted to see the preliminaries because I only saw a couple of them. And I've always had a bit of a thing for tournament arcs. All weekend long, they said. And they said it would start on Friday. The best time to do a thing like this would be in the summer. But no, I was in school. That's right. It started early Friday morning, and I remember, however long they had, they were building up to this, I remember I actually set it to come on. So anyway, my mom woke me up for school, and, you know, I always watch TV when I'm waiting for the bus. And I remember it was on. I was so disappointed because I knew I was going to miss all of it. I remember watching a the last five minutes of the bell test. Well, actually, I, no, it was the start of the bell test. And right when, you know, they were starting to go for the bells, the bus came. And I couldn't watch it anymore. In fact, I remember all morning, I've been trying to play sick. But my mom wouldn't let me miss school. And in fact, the whole bus ride, I was just thinking about how I would try to take a bell from him. One idea I had was getting a large stick with a hook attached to it, and I'd try to sneak one off of them. Yeah, I don't think that would have worked. But anyway, the whole day I was at school, I was focused on getting home to watch Naruto. It was all I could think about, it was all I could talk about with my friends. So I remember getting home, and the first thing that I remember seeing was the written test of the tuning exam. And I pretty much watched it all day. In fact, I remember being kind of sad when Adult Swim started playing. I kind of expected uh, the Naruto Hundo to go on all night. But of course, dumbass Adult Swim had to hog the time slot. So anyway, I remember I actually set my alarm so I'd wake up early enough to watch it. Because the preliminaries started at, like right at 6. So I set my alarm so I would wake up early enough to watch it. Because that was kind of the one arc I wanted to see. And I have fond memories of watching those for the first time. I think the most memorable one was Shino beating Zaku by clogging the holes in his hands with his bugs. Ever since I was a kid, and even now, I always thought he was so cool. Shino was, and still is, by far, my favorite Naruto character. Of course, they weren't all perfect. Of course, I remember that snooze fest between Eno and Sakura. Half an hour and there was no payoff. No, neither of them won. About a year, I think. Tsunami was cancelled. Naruto stopped Naruto stopped airing on Cartoon Network. And I kind of forgot about the series. Since I didn't really have internet at the time. So I couldn't watch it online, and unfortunately my interest in the series just passed. A few of the toys I remember I got was some kind of Gara action figure and a headband from the dollar store, which was very cheaply made and broke like in a month. And when I get a chance, I plan on fitting the entire original series, Shippuden, and maybe even get into Boruto. Although, from what I've heard, Boruto is terrible, and the character itself is horrible. I mean, he's pretty much a spoiled brat, and I've heard he literally calls his father not cool enough. Plus, think about it, why do we love the character of Naruto? Well, ever since he was a kid. He was a kid who literally had nothing. He had no parents. He had no friends. Nothing. He was considered weak, a waste of space. He was pretty much the ultimate underdog. Anyone who, I mean, even Kiba, when he faced him in the preliminaries, thought it would be just easy to beat him. But he made the best of a bad situation, and he busted his ass training to get stronger. He became Hokage through sheer determination. But to quote Confuse Matthew, Poor confused Matthew, this kid is just an asshole. Also, I'm not really a big fan of the design, of the new design of the characters. They've all changed, they've all changed so much. 
and are barely even shadows of their former self. Seriously, what the hell did they do to Shino? I mean, he went from having sunglasses and a his collar up, where you can't see his mouth, to what looks like Jordy's Heiser from Star Trek. And Choji just looks a lot uglier. Of course, he's not a certain age, well. She started to look to look better in the second part. I mean her figure filled out a lot more. Plus, a lot of the final pairings just don't really make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I'm gonna be honest here. Naruto had very little romance in the original series anyway. Really the only romance I can think of was just Hinata practically stalking Naruto. Naruto having a childish crush on Sakura. Sakura and Ino and Really, a bunch of other girls just fangirling over Sasuke. Yet, there was little development to these relationships. Also, my favorite character, Shino, went from silent, tactical badass who was able to break off a guy's arms to a boring teacher who was not respected by his students. In fact, I don't even think he's got a pairing at all, or has a kid. As for Naruto, he's married to a girl who actually confessed to him and he never responded. And personally, you know, if I was in charge, I would have hooked Hinata up with Kiba. Because, to be honest, they've shared a lot more cute moments than her and Naruto have. And as for Sasuke, I'd... Well, I'd make Naruto be with Sakura because... I don't know. Yeah, I don't really ship Naruto... I don't really ship Sasuke and Sakura because Sasuke just doesn't really seem like the type who would really love anyone. I mean, the guy's obsessed with killing people. He's a psychopath, really. Yeah, I don't know if it's clear, but I can't stand Sasuke. Mostly because he practically hugged the spotlight. And there were characters like Kiba, Shino, and Shikamaru, who barely got to do a damn thing because Mr. Perfect had to get his time. Ugh, I hate Sasuke. I, I don't like Sasuke. Plus you got Shino, who barely does anything throughout the whole series. He has two fights. Literally, two fights. And he's one of the best strategists in the whole series. Boy, I got really sidetracked there, didn't I? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.